Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about uh, channel switching a Marshall DSL-40, uh, one of the newer versions with the master uh, volume, with uh, ch channel switching with a MIDI switcher, a MIDI foot switcher. Um, there's a lot of different uh, foot pedals that are available that will do MIDI switching. Um, I happen to use the Boss ES5, it's a loop switcher uh, with channel switching capabilities, fancy. Um, not only will it change channels, it'll send out MIDI data too. So we'll talk about um, exactly how you set that up and uh, why you might want to use a MIDI switcher uh, instead of the Marshall two button uh, foot switch that comes with the Marshall DSL 40. Excuse me. Um, and so it's a great little two, two button foot switch. Sure, it changes the channel. It turns the effects loop on and off. But there's more to this amp that you can access with a better foot switch. Uh, I think the better foot switch is available on the market finally. It was like something was up, it went around for quite some time. Um, or it was hard to get only in the UK, I don't know. Um, but it's even, for me, um, I, I like I like the, the loop switcher because I can then set up presets for um, like live playing when I do gigs. I gig in Nashville um, with this rig. Uh, often and uh, there is uh, you know there's something to be said for not having to dance around a pedal board I don't like to have to hit more than one switch when I'm when it's time to change something I want to hit one switch and that's all I want to focus on my playing and the other stuff that's happening I don't want to think about how many you know getting ahead of a chorus change with all this this perfect sequence of pedal taps um, I'd rather just hit the bank three button um, so uh, that's why I use a loop switcher, and um, because of that, I can then call up, you know, I can just hit preset one. So we'll be working on today with just presets one to four, because we're just talking about kind of the four channels of this Marshall rig. And uh, the uh, presets one to four, um, and so I'll be doing channel switching and a little bit of effects in and out. Um, five, actually all five, I think. Um, but so uh, also set up, I usually have stereo amps set up to play. That's how I like to play around here. Um, and so uh, we have a Bogner uh, Duende uh, is the other side of this stereo rig that's happening. Um, so what's a cool thing about this channel switch or this uh, loop switcher thing is uh, it has two uh, control outputs. So you can kind of do switching on two lines. Um, so I could channel switch both of these amps with two hard lines um, or two regular cables rather. They're all hard lines. Um, but I'm, I'm doing one TRS over to the Bognard for channel switching, then one MIDI cable to the Marshall because I got a lot more to do than just two functions on a TRS. <clears throat> um, and so, but I can set up each patch to, um, you know, here's the, here's the pedals I want and here's how I want these amps switched. Um, and, and all that happens with one press. And so like, that's what I need when I'm playing live. And so, um, you know, everyone's got what works for them. This is what works for me and this is how I set it up. Um, so let's talk about this Marshall. Um, what you get out of the factory and, and directly like included, the big foot switch isn't included. You get two buttons, one in channel select and one loop on and off. Well, this thing has two channels, this amp. It's got two channels, but each channel has two modes. So it's like a low gain and a high gain mode kind of for each channel. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, while the voicing seem to be, you know, are, are the same, um, You've, you've definitely got, you know, at, at the press of a button, like half the gain or double the gain. And that's very useful, um, especially to me. Um, I need three channels of, of, of sound when I play live to set uh, with the band that I play with. And uh, with the Bogner, it's a two channel amp. I would have to really do the clean channel set to clean, the high gain channel set to, you know, it's high gain setting, and then have the clean channel with uh, this MXR modified overdrive um, just for a little bit of crunch. Um, and that's how I'd have to rig stuff. Um, whereas this Marshall, I can do two, you know, a clean, uh, mild crunch, a heavier crunch, and an all out blaster, um, four channels. Um, and I can do that. Um, you can do it too if you have a switcher, or uh, like I said, that new pedal has come out, but even that still is like, you know, six buttons or something to just do each thing individually. Um, and so, uh, anyways, you can do, you got four channels to play with on this amp. Then you've got two master volumes on it now, and the master volumes are assignable. So, 
Um, what that means is, you know, there's a lot of chatter on the internet about like these master volumes that I've seen. And, you know, like there's people that just like dime it, dude, turn it all the way up, let it rock. It's a Marshall. Um, okay. So effectively what you're doing then is blasting your power tubes, which is fine. Um, most of your sounds and your tones not coming from the power tubes. Um, I say this as a guy who's absolutely going to change those power tubes that are in that. I just got this Marshall this week. <laughs> I will absolutely change those power tubes for uh, some Tesla EL34s. Um, prefer preferably, I'm going to find some from the Rosnick factory. Um, I've had these tubes before, and they are tremendously good. They're old. They're like 70s. Uh, and they have a tonal character that's dope. But I used to run that in a, a 9000 series power amp. I ran those tubes, and... Um, I ran them on the, at on the low setting at bedroom levels. Um, I can absolutely, you know, so it's that's what I'm comparing the tone to. Um, you don't have to blast them. You don't have to drive them all the way to, to, to do that. Um, I almost think, you know, like, like a lot of things, um, in, in the audio realm and with amps and preamps and tube stuff and all this stuff, and it even applies a lot to the stuff that's in the box that's emulated, is I like like 75% of stuff, you know? Like... Drive it hard, but give it some room to breathe. Like, if you're just dime, you know, blow it out, dude, 10, 11, all the way. If you're spinal tapping it, you know, and I'm a big fan of spinal tap, but um, if you're trying to do that in the real world, um, you're not, uh, you're, you're short selling your gear. Um, let it do what it was designed to do. Let it breathe. Um, let it have some little bit of room to be dynamic. Um, anyways, that's the two masters, and they're assignable. So, what I do with them is I use them to balance out the four channels. Um, so as it is, um, you know, because all, you still only have one volume and one gain for each channel. Um, so when it comes to the cl clean, clean tone, um, this tone, um, turn that reverb off. When it comes to that clean, clean tone um, versus the next one over, which is slightly dirty. Um, there was a big volume difference, um, <clears throat> so I even that out with the, with the master. Now, the uh, the volumes on straight up clean versus the next channel over the the ultra gain channel, um, both of those voicings are very similar in, in volume to the very very clean channel. The only one that was too loud was that you know that second channel, a little bit of gain. So the little bit of gain channel I have assigned to master two. The other three are assigned to master one. That way I can get them, you know, just right. So as we bump across our channels, um, let's have a look. We have uh, clean. <laughs> That is dead clean. You know, you're not going to have much cleaner than that, um, for sure. That's a neck pickup, DiMarzio injector, so it's a hot pickup. So that's our clean, dead clean. Next over. to be, you know, clean. It's volume knob at seven, so back off just a little. So those two channels on that Marshall amp, you're looking at a gain setting just past 12 o'clock on this one, and the volume is actually all the way up. Um, and that's just because uh, I like everything I've got for the clean sound, um, and then I'll just bring it up with the uh, with the master. It gives it the most beef to me. Um, so uh, that's that first channel. Moving on over, our gain. Now I pulled a gain. It's like 12, 1, 2, almost like 2.30, almost 3 o'clock. Um, and the gain is set really to that point where it just starts to crunch out crazy good on the high gain channel. 
um, and then high high that is um, and then I back it's backed off like that's a good setting like just enough will give me enough of a roll off otherwise the number three channel like the mid mid gain the high mid gain two main channels is uh, a little too gainy um, so it's good to find a balance there um, but that's it. so go from there over to here <laughs> Too much Wagner. Dial that back. Um, so yeah, I really dig it. <clears throat> and these volumes right now are really low. I can almost talk of this if I want to. So that's not the high gain channel. That's just. back maybe pull it back to like seven um, that's that number three almost almost heavy um, and so the last one in the line of course is the high gain That's, uh, you know, bouncing between the channels and the tones. Um, if you want to, let's show you real quick how you actually set your MIDI stuff up in the pedal board. So, uh, you can go ahead and you're on your patch. And so, like in this case, I'm on patch uh, 121, whatever. Uh, hit edit and you're in the patch edit. You want to hit enter to get into that. You're like, yes. Um, this, you want to scroll to the right place. So scroll left to right. Um, this is also where you do your channels on and off. Um, so C1 through C4, that is, uh, what that is is your channel switching with the two uh, TRS lines. Um, so that's where you would handle when you're replacing, replacing a foot switch. Um, what we're about to do with MIDI right here. Um, so next in line, input buffer, blah, blah, blah. There we go, patch one MIDI. That's what we want. We want to enter. And so what we're doing is we're doing program change. Uh, and so program changes one through four, that's how you access uh, those on this amp. Um, I meant to say earlier, we get to do the four channels, the masters, and the loop on and off for every patch. Like that's so powerful and cool. Um, and so uh, this is a clean channel on my board for this thing. And so uh, clean channel, we want program change one. Easy enough, right? Um, the next thing, I think if we page over some more, we have, uh, I'm not doing it. There's values for the loop and the master. Um, so that's another cool thing about this amp um, is that it remembers, and this is, sounds confusing and it confused me at first, but um, it does, it remembers 
the last setting as you have whatever you had for the loop uh, in the master. So if the last time that you were on the classic gain channel one, uh, but the high version, you know, like the crunch, not the clean, but the crunch of classic gain. Last time you were on that, you used master two. It'll remember that forever until you use master one. So it remembers the assignment. It doesn't remember what the values are, but it remembers the assignment. And same for the effects loop. So um, while I could, there are functions inside uh, the Marshall, and they correspond to um, some CC values, uh, 13 and 14, 0 and 1, uh, do either turn masters on and off uh, for you by patch in the loop on and off too. But um, I always want them you know, set the way they are, so I don't even have to mess with it. I just do the program change. So that, in a nutshell, is that. Uh, if I hit display exit one, two, three times, I'm out of there. Go to my next patch, hit edit, enter. We want to go, yeah, enter again into MIDI 1. And we'll see, now you've got program change too. Oh yeah, that was hard. Three taps gets us out of there. Go to our next, pa next patch, and I'm guessing we're going to see program change three. Oh my goodness. Um, so do make sure that you set up a channel. Um, I didn't have that set at first <laughs> for any of these patches, and I was getting pretty irritated for a minute, uh, thinking like, what is going on? I even you know hooked up my MIDI cable to the computer. Like I tested everything before I realized uh, on this channel, on this loop switcher, the channel by default was set to off. You know, that's kind of dumb, so it wasn't sending anything. Quick change of that to one, that solved everything. Um, and so that's how you set the actual thing. So for any channel that you want, uh, just pick uh, program change. Number one is for the clean side of classic gain channel. Uh, Program change two is for the crunch side of classic gain channel. Program change three is OD1 on ultra gain. And program change four is OD2 on ultra gain. Um, and that is how you set up the Marshall DSL 40 to uh, receive uh, the MIDI channel changing um, and really access all of the features of that amp, which is very, I guess, very capable. I didn't even know when I bought it that you could do that, that you could hook MIDI up to it. Um, not enough chatter about that out there. But anyways, that's a quick look at the uh, Marshall DSL-40 and controlling it with a loop switcher via MIDI and accessing all the functions like a boss. Um, and so uh, that was fun. Uh, hit the subscribe thing. If you want to help a brother out, pick me up some subscribers and uh, make a little, like, some dimes and nickels. Yeah, baby. Um, but anyways, hit that up. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hang around. We're going to do a lot more cool and fun guitar stuff like this. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.